A former Tallahassee mayor and city lobbyist are facing a maximum of 45 years in a federal prison after pleading guilty to three counts in a case stemming from an FBI probe into City Hall that had implications in last year's governor's race. As Jake Stofan tells us, the investigation, well, that is far from over. A three-time statewide candidate, former Tallahassee mayor and city commissioner Scott Maddox, and lobbyist Paige Carter-Smith were silent as they entered the federal courthouse. The two faced 47 counts stemming from an FBI probe that began in 2015. They emerged after pleading guilty to mail, wire, and tax fraud in a pay-to-play scheme. Mr. Maddox, do you have any comment? Mr. Dobson's coming up to make a comment. Maddox's attorney says the former mayor was ready to accept responsibility. But he wants to move on for his, his life, his family's life, uh, and Tallahassee, and he hopes Tallahassee heals. The two face a maximum of 45 years in prison and $750,000 in fines, but they could receive a lighter sentence if they cooperate with the federal government. We hope that these defendants will now come forward, fully accept their responsibility, and cooperate. For local property owner Irwin Jackson, who has long sought to expose corruption in the capital city, the prospect of a lighter sentence is upsetting. So far, what we've heard is crime does pay. White collar crime does pay. Federal prosecutors declined to say whether more indictments may be on the way for either city officials or companies that may have offered bribes for votes. Earlier this year, the FBI subpoenaed records from former Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum's gubernatorial campaign. Gillum hasn't been directly named in the Maddox case. There's also a third defendant facing nine counts, J.T. Burnett, a local Tallahassee businessman who's set to go to trial in November. Reporting from the state capitol, Jake Stofan, Channel 4, V, local station. Maddox and Carter Smith are scheduled to be sentenced coming up on November 19th. While the other charges in the case were dropped, the judge said facts relating to those charges could influence the sentence he imposes.